Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading from the 3rd to the 9th of July, Sun, Moon and Rising. This will be a brief uh, message. We'll start up with a, a sound bowl for one ping just to tune into the energy. So you can join me if you like. I'm going to take a nice breath in. And exhale. Okay, Sagittarius, let us see what the week is bringing you. Literally three cards. Um, theme for the week, unexpected and advice. Abundant energy there. Divine feminine. So, Mother of Pearl. It's, uh, so, I, what I'm getting, what I'm getting from this, the energy I'm getting from this actually is, um, some sort of gift, some sort of, um, I feel like something's being wrapped nicely in a in a present. Um, I feel like there's there's a gift coming towards you. It's weird because like I'm talking about a theme here, but I just sense so much kind of. Uh, we talk about with the divine feminine. We talk about Venus energy. We talk about beauty, nurturing, love, um, unconditional love, um, creation, creativity. Um, I just see I just see that there's. And obviously overflowing ab abundance as well from the heart space. It's, it's, um, I just feel like this week you're going to be in this vibe of really working with that Venus divine energy, right? But everything's kind of a little bit softer, a little bit gentle, a little bit more attention to detail, um, thoughtful. Um, for some of you, you, you know, you obviously, um, wrapping a special gift for somebody or you're going to but I feel like you're going to be receiving a gift this week and it's very thoughtful and it's very uh gentle and it's very nurturing and it just um it just makes you it's not like it's overfilling your heart because you're really in that energy so this kind of feels uh like kind of ethereal in the sense that you just um you're feeling more balanced this week less kind of driven by motivation to do 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 you just kind of in your vibe this week just sort of sensing things picking up on energies really absorbing those energies respond to them thinking before you speak um i really love this energy actually um it's just you softened this week okay and because it's the theme of the week it doesn't feel necessarily like you are mentally choosing to do it or mentally trying to analyze this or whatever i just feel like you're kind of just floating this week and it's not floating in a oh i don't know i don't care kind of energy it's more like just going with the flow and just feeling the love and just slowing down and Sometimes when we slow down, we actually get more done because we spend care on what we're doing. So whatever you're doing this week, whatever project, whatever work-related thing, anything in the home, anything with partnerships or relationships, I just feel like the best thing is just to slow down. Someone's speaking to you, listen. People are going to gravitate towards you because you don't have any... I, I don't feel like you've got any guard up this week, which is really, really beautiful. I really love it. Okay. What is the unexpected? Ten of Swords. Okay. So we've got something that's dead done over with. And this is in the mental body. But it feels to me like, again, it's like now that you are no longer pushing and resisting something. So say, for example, you've been working. Okay, let's use an example. You've been working on a project and, um, and you just don't seem to be getting anywhere. It's like every time you try, it's like flogging a dead horse, you know. Hitting your head against a brick wall it's just something's not happening 
or you have an, a desire to do something and people are not on board with you okay um i will also use the example of um my dad got this um land rover uh recently and it's just been a second hand land rover and it's gorgeous it's wonderful but there's been nothing but problems um and sometimes it's important to know when something's done okay uh when the season is over and done with and that could be painful sometimes it could be painful as well you know sometimes uh we've all experienced it where we have some sort of breakup okay romantic breakup or friendship breakup whereby um you recognize that you're now both in different directions okay you've already made that fork in the road okay using this as an example and there's no going back on it it's over you cannot go back to that place it is a number 10 so it's a completion right but when we have this sort of sort of breakup it does make us vulnerable okay in that vulnerability and in that rawness there is actually a lot of beauty there because we soften we don't no longer put our guard up and try and forge ahead you know like the divine masculine we're the divine feminine this week Sagittarius and in that it's like it enables us to recognize something without fighting or resisting it so it feels to me that as you're in this beautiful feminine flow now don't worry we all have masculine and feminine within us something unexpected is going to show up that you realize oh there's no going back on this that's over okay um but what i really like about this is even though you're not fighting it anymore you're just now kind of settling back into it and kind of going well all right it's obviously not supposed to go this way this person is not supposed to be in my life anymore that cycle has completed that job whatever you whatever it resonates with you right but it's it's it does feel like you're okay with it you're okay with it so let's see the advice and spirit is a four of pentacles okay so what spirit here is trying to say is really spend this time to nurture yourself he's snoozing the four of pentacles is actually snoozing on a magic carpet now magic carpet is supposed to be you know flying out and be very adventurous and fun and exciting it's got an element of magic to it but uh, this is advice and spirit and what a spirit is trying to say is anything that's dead done over with okay in your beautiful divine feminine energy use that time to nurture the self the inner child okay can you mother yourself this week and also as you do so try not to think of any like big ideas or things that you have to get done allow it to come to you because really this is a week about not really um try not to overspend try not to make any big purchases try not to make any huge big decisions this week because it feels like something's already something really big is happening right so now is a week now is a time to really kind of just soak in that energy be in your beautiful receiving state okay uh, work with the flow don't resist anything that comes on in and at every opportunity possible have a little snooze have a little downtime have a little rest okay um, this is not a week to make um, uh, to change the world this is a time for rest and rejuvenation um, I don't feel like there's any kind of major kind of illness or anything like that but I do feel like it's not a week for big big projects if possible okay because it feels like something has to come to an end and you need to just to soak up that energy and send it love as the empress does and then you can just soften to it and just have the rest so that you can build yourself up for the following week all right so uh that's all i have for you sagittarius i really hope it helped i really hope it resonated um uh, please be mindful there's a general reading so it's not a one-to-one -one reading if you would like a personal reading check out my website loveitormore.com and information is in the description box below have a good week and i'll see you next time take care bye